I'm Tiffany. I'm Emily. And welcome to our channel to Mercury and Mars. As you guys know, we just came back from Korea, South Korea, and Japan. So we're going to be doing a haul video about all the stuff we bought from Japan and Korea. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Tiffany, and this is my part of the Korea and Japan haul. So I'm going to first start off with the items I bought in Japan. The first item I'm going to be talking about are these umbrellas. I got this when I was in Shinjuku. It was around 960 yen, so it was $9.60. I got a Stitch one and I got an Alien one. And I just thought it was super cute. I'm really obsessed with Alien. And in Japan, they really love their aliens. The next item I'm going to be talking about is something I got from the Disney store in Yokohama. It's another Alien item. It's actually a pencil case that you can open up and put items inside. But it's pretty small to actually fit anything. But I thought it was super cute anyways. Next thing I'm going to be talking about are some socks I bought in Shibuya 109. I think that's the only item I actually bought there because a lot of things in Shibuya it was pretty expensive and I was kind of on a budget so I didn't want to overload and spend too much. So I bought some socks. I bought an alien sock, um, a Monsters Inc. sock, and another sock that has the sheer paneling with daisies which I thought was super cute. What I'm going to be talking about is this popcorn bucket I got in Disneyland. Japan really loves their popcorn buckets and so literally everywhere you walk there was a new stand and each stand has a different flavor. You put it in this bucket and you kind of carry it around with the strap they have. I thought it was super cute and they don't have that in the states at uh, the Disneyland in the states and so I thought that was something unique that I thought I would get. Another item I got is something from Disneyland. It's the alien headband. Actually I think I got this in Disney Sea. Yeah I got this in Disney Sea. And Japan really loves the aliens there and so that's the only place I've seen that actually sells aliens. So I thought I might as well buy it and I did. Here it is. I'm actually going to wear it for the rest of this video. But I'm really obsessed with aliens as you can tell and here's another alien item that I got. This actually had mochis in it. It actually has alien faces. If you actually watched one of our videos, you would have seen it. It's so adorable. You can only find it in Japan. So I recommend if you go to Japan, you have to eat that. This is a Sailor Moon charm. It has Sailor Moon on it. She's also one of my favorite characters next to Mars. So there's that. And I also got one of those boxes where you open it up and you don't know what's inside. This one was 500 yen and I really wanted the cupcake that shows the Sailor Moon logo on it. And I actually did. And I got that one. It has a little Sailor Moon charm on the side. Sailor Mars pen is actually a real pen so you can use it as a pen. Um, I don't plan on doing that though. I just really wanted it because I love Sailor Mars. So I found a lot of really random Japanese candy for really cheap. I believe these were only a dollar each. And we also bought a lot, a lot, and a lot of popping cooking. And if you don't know what that is, it's the type of candy where you mix it and you make it and then you kind of mold your own candy. We did try two of them when we were in Japan. They were both fails, and so we are not going to post videos on those. But we will try to do another one and redeem ourselves. And that is it for our Japan items. I got my two most precious items. Um, one of them is the BTS. I don't know if you listen to them, but they're my all-time favorite group. BTS, this is their old album though. So it was pretty cheap when I got it. This was only $10, I believe. It is their School Love Affair album. It's one of my favorites. I got J-Hope as my card. It also comes with some stickers that I guess are supposed to represent the BTS members. I can't really tell which one is which, so I don't really plan on using it, but it's so cute anyways. I got their XOXO album. This is XOK. I'm really obsessed with XOK. Um, I got Kai as my card. And it comes with the CD and you know, all the members' faces. My favorite, favorite, favorite member is Bikyun. He's my number one favorite in EXO. I got one of their fans. They are the faces of Nature Republic and so everywhere in the store you will see EXO. And so one of their gifts, if you bought any EXO item, you would get an EXO fan. And I got a Bikyun one because he's my favorite member. Speaking of EXO, I had to get this. It is their XO, the XOK lotion from Nature Republic. It has six of the XOK members. Emily got the XOM members, so we thought we would just, you know, split it. So the next item I'm going to be talking about are socks that we bought in Home Day, which was the very first day we were there, if you watched the vlog. Funny story about this. We were walking down the street, 
And as we were about to cross the street, I turned around just for a second because I just wanted to say my last goodbyes to home day because we were only there for a few hours and we weren't going to be able to go back. So I was going to turn around and just look around and I noticed this stall that had socks and there was a huge sign that said $1 socks and so I had to buy them and I overloaded a lot. I think I pushed all my friends out of the way for these socks. Um, I purchased basically all the Sailor Moon ones they had because as you know, I'm obsessed with Sailor Moon. I also got the princess ones. There were four princess ones, Anna, Elsa, Jasmine, oh there was actually five of them, and Ariel and Snow White. So we saw this in Bub's vlog when she went to Korea in her haul and she bought these and I was dying to find them when I was in Korea and that's when it happened. I turned around and I saw them. So I bought one of each. I bought the Big Bang members. I'm actually missing one. I'm missing? Top. Top was super popular so they ran out of top so I only have four of them which makes it really incomplete but they were only a dollar each and I had to buy them. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the fashion part of this haul. When we were in Hongdae, I noticed this store that was selling these pleated American Apparel dupe skirts. I only bought it for $15. I bought the white one and the black one. Exact same store I bought. It's a black skirt. It's similar to the American Apparel one that I just showed earlier. But this one has um, ruffles on the bottom and it kind of flares out. The other item I bought was this overall skirt. And I thought it was really cute. It has pockets and it also comes with a crop top. Another item I got is also an overall themed item. It's this denim one and has the overalls that you can put on. It's a flared out skirt and kind of puffy. It does have pockets, really big pockets and they're pretty deep so I kind of like that. And this other fashion item, I did not get this in Korea. I got this in Japan. This is the only fashion item I got in Japan which was really really sad. A lot of girls wearing these kind of skirts in Japan. And the next part of this haul is all my beauty products. So the first item I'm going to be talking about is from Etude House. It is their Moistful Collagen Skin Care Box. I bought this actually when I was in the airport on our way home. This was at from Incheon Airport. I noticed it and I thought it was such a good deal. It was $20 for this entire box. I wanted something for really dry skin. I have severely dry skin. So I wanted a product that can help with really dry skin and I found this. And this, it comes with the Collagen Moistful Emulsion and Facial Freshener. It also comes with two little travel pack, um, two little travel pack ones that you can bring along with you. It also comes with a cream and a sleeping pack. I have not used a sleeping pack yet. I've been just using the cream for all the areas where I have extremely dry skin, which is around my cheeks. Some face masks that I bought from Etude House. I also bought green tea and honey and a mugworth one. This one I actually got as a free sample when I bought the lip tints from Etude House. And they gave this me as a free sample and then when we got back to our Airbnb, um, I tried it and I really, really liked it. It's Nature Republic Aloe Vera Soothing Gel. I really, really like this. This is one of my favorite items from Nature Republic because um, I really have dry skin and so this is soothing for the skin. And what I really, really like about it is when you put it on and it dries, it literally feels as if you have nothing on but it's so moisturizing because normally my arms would get really dry and you would see dry patches all over my arm but whenever I put this on and it dries you don't see anything but it leaves your skin really really moisturized and so this is one of my favorite favorite products in Nature Republic and this was four dollars I believe so really good steal really affordable I would definitely buy this it's the Orchid Flower Aqua UV Sun. It was $10, $15, I don't really remember. I actually really, really like this item and I would buy it again if I went to Korea. Face mist. I have not used the face mist before, so I thought it was really interesting when I tested it out. I bought one from Innisfree and Nature Republic. Um, one is a green tea mineral mist, and the one from Nature Republic is a Baobab mist. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And this one was $11 and I believe the Nature Republic I got was also $11. Um, another item from Etude House is the Play 101 Pencil. I heard good things about this from my friend who's really in love with Etude House. It's 
just their black eyeliner pen. I really like it because it glides on really well and it doesn't smudge, which is also a plus. The Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Clay Mask with Scorcha and Green Complex. So Innisfree is known for their natural products from Jeju. I haven't used this item yet and I bought this one when I was in Incheon Airport. Etude House Precious Mineral Any Cushion with SPF 50. I bought this in Honey Beige W24. So I believe me and Emily got the same kind. So this one is actually really light on the skin and it has this white finish. So it gives me this like ghost looking face, but Korea really likes that. So they're really into that. I'm not. It comes in this cushion pack that you use the sponge and you press it on top and put it on your skin. But I really like this Etude House and I find it really easy to use. And I'm really, really bad with makeup. I really don't know how to use makeup. And so for someone who's really lazy and doesn't know how to use makeup, this is your solution. Also from Etude House, I bought the Rosy Tint Lips. I find it really hard to use for some reason. I don't like the squeezing because there's not that much product in there. So it's hard for me to squeeze it out, but I really like the color payoff, so. The Peri Para Tint. You probably have seen this a lot if you watch a lot of Korean beauty hauls and Korean beauty gurus because they like the little liquid tint. I find this really sheer on me. I have to kind of overload it because I have really pink lips already. Got two lip tints from Nature Republic, the Real Gel Tint in orange and red. One of the last lip tints I bought was from Etude House, the Fresh Cherry Tint. This actually smells like cherries, so I really, really like it. And this is a red color. Thanks for watching.